I'm just so unhappy, ma'am. I love Steve. I wanted him. Yeah, well, you can forget that. There's no chance of that, even if there ever was. Yeah, I know that now. I understand that. But I have got to get my baby back. You will help me, won't you? I've told you I will. There you are. I've been looking all over. Listen, Ken, I think we ought to get Tracy home. You go back to the reception if you want. Not a good idea. The name of Barlow is neither popular nor welcome right now. Come on, let's go home. We've a lot to talk about. He looks so right with it, Roy. You make a wonderful father. I'm not, though. I wanted to be her father. I thought I was her father. And that was a wonderful feeling. But Tracy Barlow's taken that away from me. But like you said, she might be lying. You can't believe a word she says. Little patience. She might be a little girl after all. I don't think so. When Tracy said what she said about who the father was, I don't know why exactly, and I don't know how, but somehow I knew that it was the truth. The truth is, that child needs love and a proper home and people who do anything to offer her. And that's us. It's not Tracy. Oh, I know. I mean, don't misunderstand me, Kayleigh. I, mean, I, I still want her just as much as you do. Well, then we've got to fight for her. You've got rights in law. <laughs> I mean, your patience is daddy, legally, I mean. It says so on a birth certificate, name of father, Roy Cropper. Nobody could be a better father to her than you are. Oh, I know. But it's going to be hard. Well, we've got to fight. If we want to keep little patience. And I know I do. So do I. More than anything in the world. Well, I think if you had any friends left round here, Tracy, they won't be your friends after today. Ken, don't get on at her. Don't get on at her. After what she's done today, you think there's nothing to say? I think there's plenty to say, but... The understatement of the decade. Thank you. She's wrecked a wedding day, wrecked a marriage too, I shouldn't wonder. Broken Roy Cropper's heart, if I'm any judge. I saw his face when Tracy dropped a little bombshell. The man was totally destroyed. Well, I am sorry. No, I really am. I didn't go there to hurt anybody. I just I think went... you knew exactly. Because as far as I can see, hurting people is the one thing that you do really well. You're a black belt at hurting people. Ken, just ease up on her, will you? <laughs> she just had a baby. Her emotions are all over the place, and she needs our help. She's just told you she wants the baby back. Yes, well, it'd be far too much of what Tracy wants. It's high time she showed a bit of consideration for other people. But that's exactly what she's doing. She's thinking about the baby. She knows she was wrong to give it to the croppers, and now she wants her back. And I agree with her, because I know what she's going through. And I know that that baby should be with her mother. So, I'm going to help her. And you ought to help as well, Ken. Because this is our grandchild we're talking about. Is this just another one of your whims, Tracy? Target for today, get the baby back off the croppers. This time next week, the baby's hard work, tell them they can take it away again. No. I don't blame you for not trusting me. But I swear to you, I am not playing games. I have to have my baby. That is one thing I know for sure. I can't bear to lose her. <sighs> I can't help feeling for Roy and Haley. But you're right. As you say, we're talking about our granddaughter. All right, Tracy, I'm convinced. I'm with you 100%. We'll get your baby back. Tracy Barlow was speaking the truth, and I believe she was. You realise what else this means, Hayley? Uh, no, I'm not sure what you're getting at. It means I never had relations with her. Well, I never believe you did. At least not until we found out she was pregnant. Well, I believed her. When she swore that's what had happened, I believed her. And it all but killed our relationship. And I hated myself for betraying you and the trust you had of me. And I, I all but killed myself. All this misery, Haley, because of that woman's lies. 
I think she's evil, Roy. I really do. She seems incapable of being happy and unable to bear the sight of happiness in others. I mean, perhaps she can't help being the way she is. Well, she can help it. She doesn't have to do these terrible things. No, if you ask me, she actually enjoys inflicting pain on people. I expect you're right, but either way, I don't believe she's the sort of person that should be bringing up a baby. No. no. You have to keep little patience, Roy. You have to. You know, it's just dawned on me. We haven't actually eaten since breakfast. Have you had anything, Tracy? No, but I'm not hungry. Oh, you must eat, Tracy. Look, I think we should go to the croppers now and get my baby back. I mean, what are we waiting for? Hang on, hang on. Just think about that for a second. Now, the croppers have had a terrible shock today, and my guess is that right now they're trying to come to terms with it. So I suggest we let them sleep on it, and then by tomorrow they'll be in a much more reasonable state of mind. I think your dad's right, Tracy. We'll get your baby back, but we'll do it without a shouting match. I think that will be the kindest thing to do. Who to? Not me. To everybody, including you, Tracy. Now, come on, let's have something to eat. You need to eat to build your strength up. Now you're going to have a baby to look after. Ah, right, what do you fancy? I think there's some sausages in the fridge. Well, we seem to be all right for eggs. Supposing I cook us all some omelettes. Mm -mm, sounds okay. good to me. Right, how does an omelette grab... She might go away. Oh, if we do that, she'll know we're here. I know she's in there. I Please want her. Don't do this. Look, we'll get your baby back, but not this way. Mom, I just want her. I know. I know you do, love. We'll get her in the morning. Now. We'll get her in the morning. I'll, I'll be back, Cropper. You can't keep her. She's mine. 